It's here. It's been, what, a month and a half since the last time I've brewed. Um, but it is brew day today. So like I said, haven't brewed in a while. Um, got a new job as sort of in relation to commercial brewing. Um, but I've been very busy, a lot busier than I was before. And um, loving it. But um, it's sort of taken a toll on my home brewing and YouTube uh, life just Temporarily, I think I can get my schedule sort of set now. I can know when I can brew and all that stuff. So today I'm brewing a, I'm calling it an English Amber. Um, I got uh, I got the malt for this when I got the malt for my Hepawitzen. So I've had the malt for a long time and the yeast and all that stuff. Um, I have a, uh, a really cool um, new thing <laughs> that I'll be using at some point during this video. Um, I'll give you a hint. It'll be during bottling. So it's an English Amber. Um, that's what I'm at least calling it. I don't know, um, technically if that's cause it's not English yeast. It's uh, it's American yeast. It's California ale yeast. Um, but it is English hops. I'm going to throw that recipe up right here. I'm just trying to, uh, to make sort of a clean, um, you know, clean finishing sort of uh, first beer with my new thing that I've got. Uh, and, uh, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I've never brewed this recipe before. I haven't really brewed like a straight up Amber before. So I'm excited. Um, I love Fuggle. I love EKG. I had them in the freezer already. So it was like a no brainer to use, um, to use those. So without further ado, let's start it up. All right, so I'm back outside because uh, Becca is not feeling well and she is still sleeping. Um, and it's it's not even eight o'clock, I don't think. Uh, so it's early. So I'm actually gonna be making a yeast starter for this. It'll be the first time that I've ever made a yeast starter. Beersmith suggests that you do yeast starters on most uh, beers that are above like five or 6% ABV, I think. Um, and I have dry malt extract. Um, so it's gonna be pretty, I think it's going to be pretty easy for me to make a yeast starter. So I'm going to, I'm just going to go for it. And, um, and then, um, maybe I'll pitch yeast either tonight or tomorrow morning, um, after the yeast starter kind of kicks off. Um, so we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. I, th I think it'll be fine, but we'll see how it goes. So brew day's already gone to uh, to hell in a handbasket. I don't know if it was pretty hard to see on the video, but uh, I spilled like a bunch of grains on my stove. So I had to stop, I stopped the video and then I had to like just scoop them up and try and salvage as many of them as I can. It wasn't all of them, obviously. It was just a little portion, but still I can make a big difference in a beer that's not really like that high ABV to begin with. Um, and like our stove isn't, dirty per se, but it's not like completely sterile and clean. Obviously I know it doesn't need to be sterile, but you know, Lord knows what little, you know, tiny particles could, could be in this beer. So, um, hoping that it's not going to make a big difference. Um, but we shall see. Why do I do this again? <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't really show the process for making a yeast starter because I actually had to look it up myself. Um, so I'll link the video that I used um, to make mine, um, which was from Clawhammer Supply, which is one of my favorite uh, YouTube 
uh, homebrewing YouTube channels. Um, so I'll, I'll go ahead and link that below and you guys can check it out if you, um, if you ever need to need help making a yeast starter. So uh, my pre oil gravity is actually uh, 1045. It's a little windy out here. So um, my pre oil gravity was actually, um, it was 1045 which is five points lower than what the recipe uh, says it'll be. I'm actually not too crazy upset about the loss of efficiency in this because um, it's already on the, the high side in terms of alcohol for an amber. Um, it's supposed to be like six point something percent, which is um, a little bit much. So 1045 actually is not, I'm not, I'm not upset about that. I'm gonna just let it, let it go at that um, and we'll see where it ends up at the end. All right, guys, um, don't know what to say, but it is uh, bottled it. What's that noise? Oh, that's right, I have a kegerator now and I don't ever have to bottle ever again.